guys, welcome back to Upper Crust Gaming. I'm Cole. I'm Fish. And Fish is away from the mic. I'm not that far. You know. I'm you, eating the you mic. You know. You know what will happen. But I'm eating it. Because we have it. the covers on them, so now it's going to be even worse. Yeah. Yeah. We're trying, guys. We're really trying. Anyways. Doing our best. This is Upper Crust Gaming. We are playing a normal lost phone again. And following the story of our good friend, but also complete stranger, Samira, who dead name is Samuel and is a beautiful little trans girl. You can see right there. Look at her go. You know, this reminds me of a Love. lot for no reason. Hmm. A book I just read it was a graphic novel. It was really good. I got it for free from our high school library because that freaking librarian loves me and she gave me three free books. Yeah. Because she, she like works with this um, company that like she gets free books, and so she gave me three free books, and one of them was, uh, was... What was it called? I'll send you a picture of it, and you can put it up. It, okay. This is what it's called, y'all, and it's, um... It's a, it's a little bit of a... There's some mystery. Well, I just kind of spoiled it by saying this reminds me of it. Never mind. <laughs> cool. Um, also, this isn't so working up, still, and I'm still mad. It. Okay, what's happening? Uh, I'm trying to fucking log into the that thing. Uh, Where do you log into VUP? No, yeah, but I'm trying to get into this. Oh, yeah. Because I want to know. I'm a snoop. Can you show me? Oh, it's past Sam's birthday now. It's the next day. Uh, happy oh, February. God. Hey, want to know a fun fact? What? To de technically, according to this whole thing... It's my diversary, because I was diagnosed with diabetes on the first ah, of February. There you go. Tying them all together. <laughs> Woo! Beautiful. This whole recording session. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Shit. Alrighty. So fuck. Because I want to know. So what's the what's the thesis? Seven one five six four nine. Okay. Seven one five six four nine. Okie dokie. Submit. Fine. That Be a dick. Right. Seven one five six four nine. Don't try to fuck me up, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. So it's supposed to be. Okay, thank you. Uh, let me find like use it on the dating website. <laughs> Lol. Okay, strong password, but I'm sure it has something to do with all of you. Maybe it's like the twentieth, cause that was the next day or something. So I guess I'll try. Or the date that she came on. The ah. Uh, Maybe like that's her a introduction. smart introduction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so o two o nine. The none of the O's will work though, because uh, I want to do that for the cow. Uh, well, your o four o nine. Um, that's why I was thinking it was the convention. So it would be. Mm. I'm becoming a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Fish is scratching her face against the mic. Okay. Um. So I'll try twenty oh nine, I guess. Damn. Fuck. I don't think it's gonna have the year. Okay. Whatever it is. Oh nine. Yeah. I'll just do that. Or maybe it like maybe it's the date the picture was taken, which is the nineteen twelve. Nineteen twelve. We tried that, didn't we? I think so, yeah. A couple times. That's a great that's a great poster, 3, 1, awesome. Leonardo da Vinci, my person. I'm skin. loving that green hair on that person with the red shirt. Yeah, that's dope. You should dye your hair green. And cut it short again. I've actually do it. Well, green's my favorite color. Yeah, it is your favorite color right now. My mom would have a heart attack. I remember talking yeah. about dyeing my hair, and then 
Harry going, well, whatever you do, don't dye it green. Because <laughs> she was like, it'll look like mold. And I was like, that, that, might, that might be possible. I'm so mad. <laughs> How do I get into it? Ah! Something it's about you guys. Okay, maybe know. there's one in the other ones or something. Hobbies and free time. This is all not related to being trans. Um, they should mention here. Like she said, I'm sure we'll figure out something to do with you. Maybe there's something else in the calendar. Museum trip. They never mentioned a museum trip. No, yeah, it yeah, they did. Some guy just like mentioned it, yeah. and it was like an actual cool thing. Like it should be that. We can all agree this is what it should be. Because that's what... Probably. <laughs> I wonder if you can go onto the internet on this game and Google um, how to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what's the, what's the secret password? <sighs> like we've read everything. Oh, wait. Hmm. What about the... No. I was thinking about the original BU forum... You know, if that had anything. Maybe. When you know, the account. Yeah, There's it's no reason for that to be. Well. No. Yeah, <laughs> it, wouldn't, it wouldn't work because I, it's the O. Yeah. <laughs> That's the solution. The solution is similar to the wife that's already cracked. It's the, it's the um, oh, zip code. Oh, oh, it's oh, the zip code oh, from oh, the place. The I don't want. No, I paused it. We can keep playing <laughs> Sam's jams. <laughs> Go back to Sam's jams. What are you cool. doing? Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. It's okay. a weather app. So yes, but we need to find where it was again. No, it was, uh, something with a C. Coronia. Cavonia. I think. Cavonia. I want to make sure. Cavonia. I make sure. It was Cavonia. Because he also mentioned it too. Bill. Bill mentioned Cavonia. Okay. Go look up Cavonia. <laughs> Cavonia! Oh Other my cities. gosh, where's Cavonia at? It's a 85922. 85922. 85922. Oh my god, we got. Diary! Okay, oh, that's some shit. Okay. Do you want to read your Yeah. Okay. I finally got a new phone to replace the one that got stolen. It works alright, but I've got mixed feelings about it. I lost all I had on my old phone. Old pictures and messages. I feel that. On the other hand, I like to think that there's some meaning to losing it. Maybe it's the universe telling me, Come on, it's time to start a clean slate. Take your life into your own hands and start anew. Tomorrow there's a meeting for the support group for LGBT teens. Maybe I'll convince myself to go. I like the way the notes look. Right, I was about to say, <laughs> I like these little... Um, I went to the support group's meeting. I had to make up something for my mom to let me go. I told her I joined a book club. She was so excited about it that she made me a cake to bring. She really does everything she can to help me make new friends. Though she knew the kind of friends I made here, I'm not sure she'd be baking any cakes. Board games meeting was great today, but Melissa was so annoying afterwards. She, she threw net yet another fit because of Alice. I have to say, it bothers me that she gets so jealous. On the other hand, I absolutely cannot have Melissa meet Alice. Oh, I yep. finally get it. Alice thinks I'm Samira, but to Melissa, I'll be Samuel. I'll always be Samuel to her. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll have to tell Melissa one day, but for now, I just don't feel like I can do it. Plus, we've been together for three years, and she probably thinks it's together forever kind of deal. Me too, I'm head over he heels for her, but I know she wouldn't be okay with Samira. I feel like, I feel like Sam should give Melissa a chance. Yeah. I think Melissa would maybe... Anyway, thankfully Melissa doesn't want to have sex before getting married. Because honestly, I really do not want to be naked in front of her for now. I don't feel comfortable enough with my body for that. That's fair. Today, the support group people advised me to come out to at least one person I trust. I thought I could always talk to Alice about, about it this Sunday. She thinks I'm a lesbian since I told her about Melissa. She probably wouldn't take it badly if I admitted to her I was born Samuel. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting because remember when she was like, "Oh, I always thought you liked guys," mm -hmm. and you were like, "I was like, oh, gay," but no, mm -hmm. <laughs> what a shitty day! 
I expect to come out to Alice today during our board games afternoon meetup. Not only did I not manage to do it, I also ended up withdrawing completely, stuck in my little shell. Lola, the stupid moron, told me she had to talk to me about something privately. So apparently her boyfriend goes to the same school as me, and upon seeing his class photo, she recognized me, but like, as Samuel. So obviously she asked questions. I tried to come up with something like having a twin and the likes, but ended up splurting something. Uh, splurting something. Anyway, feeling embarrassed. She told me that I could tell her the truth, being all, you know, Samira, you can trust me. With her teeny bopper voice. Turns out I told her everything. What a mistake! She took it way too badly. She told me that I was a monster, that she didn't want me to come and play with them ever again. I just feel like dying. Oh. Um. Tomorrow's Trans Pride. I'm so excited I can barely sleep! Trans Pride mm. was amazing! I just felt like I belonged for the first time in my life. No one to judge me. It was great. And Cavonia is such a sweet city. I'd love to live there rather than in Melrin. Seriously, Melrin is the most bigoted city in the world. I'm pretty certain half the population don't even know what LGBT stands for. For some reason, I'm so, like, conditioned to say LGBTQ. Yeah. Then when I don't see the Q, it like, I'm like... LGBT. Dude, calm down with my mic. You just keep <laughs> leaning back from it. I know. And I just, when you put uh, the little thing on it, it makes I it hard know. to speak. Okay. So you gotta, yes. gotta touch it with yes. your lips. It was my father's birthday tonight. We had a cozy evening. It was only my parents and Melissa. It was just, it was just unpleasant. They talked about queer couples' rights to adoption. I didn't know my parents were sort of close, mi- close-minded on the topic, and apparently so was Melissa. My dad is super homophobic. I'd never dare come out to come out to him. What a shitty day! I like the way, the that, way that she that leads she, with that. Yeah. I broke up with Melissa. We were going to meet up tonight to celebrate the new year, just the two of us. I thought it was going to be a relaxed evening, and that she was going to be tired because of the flight. That didn't seem to be the case, like, at all. She wanted to go all out tonight. I think she always told me she wanted to wait until getting married. All of a sudden, she sends me a pic of lingerie she was going to wear tonight. I suppose she felt threatened by Alice and thought it was a way to keep me around for longer. But, like, no way. I didn't feel like I could keep lying to her, but I couldn't tell her the truth either. Melissa's mom called. Apparently, she tried to commit suicide on New Year's Eve. Fuck, I can't believe it. It's my fault. I was, I'm so fucking idiotic. I am the worst. I feel awful after hearing the words. I ended up calling Alice. I came clean, told her everything. She was terrific. It really did help me, did me good to finally tell her the truth. But it doesn't change anything about the fact that I feel crap like crap about Melissa. Shit, how could she do this? Melissa told me I was toxic. Honestly, I do not deserve to live. I am scared of the direction this is going. I've been contacted by Loud Note, who are interested in my music. I'm all joy and happiness. I like the way the hey. notes, the notes like, change in their like design. The, yeah. yeah. I signed up to a dating website today. Alice convinced me it was the best way to think about something other than Melissa. I'm not really sold. For starters, the website doesn't seem at all, all open to homosexual or bisexual people. Hmm. No way to check profiles of your own g- gender. I had to create two accounts to explore different profiles. I really wonder if this was a good idea. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I've had it. I don't know how this day could have gotten any worse. First, I learned via Tio that our parents have been lying to us for years, telling us my cousin Eric had joined a cult, when actually he got he just got kicked out when his parents discovered he was gay. Trying to come out in this fucked up family is out of the question. The, terrible, the second terrible news of the day is that Alice is leaving Mel- Melrin. She got, she just got in for a semester abroad her, at her dream university, and she's leaving very soon. My one and only support in the shitty city is leaving. I can't even bring myself to be happy for her, even though I know I should. In two days, I'll be 18. I'm not a believer, but today, I, today I prayed for something to happen. I just want somebody to tell me, don't mind the others. Erase them all from your life. Don't keep anything from the present. Leave your boy wardrobe in Melrin. Throw away your phone and leave to start a new somewhere else. There, we just passed midnight. I've been 18 for five minutes now. I don't have to rely on my parents anymore. I'm an adult. I wish I could say a brave and independent adult person, but it's more like a trans adult stuck in Melrin. 
it seriously <laughs> just seems, got chills. It seriously seems like I stay one more day in this town and I'll do something wrong. I'm so scared. Alice from <gasps> Cavonia. Hey, Alice. I'm writing from the computer room of the Cavonia LGBT Center. I just got there and I'm planning to rebuild my life there. It's a decision I kind of made on a whim, but I really couldn't stand my life in Melrin. I was suffocating there. I knew you were really my only support. So when you told me you were Melrin, you were leaving Melrin, I got so depressed. In truth, you're right. I attach too much importance to dates, and especially signs from fate. But I was waiting for a sign, just something. And guess what? My birthday present was a motorbike. How could I not see it as a sign? Me mm -hmm. looking for a way to leave. I said I was going for a ride, and I got away. I feel so relieved to be gone. I want to erase every trace of my old life where I couldn't recognize myself, so I threw away my phone without thinking. So, well, I can't call you. That was dumb. I'll mail you my new number, promise. On the other hand, my phone wasn't locked, and anyone could find it. That really bothers me. I don't want people searching it. Those are only traces of an old life, an old me, I can't even recognize anymore. Who? Don't worry, Sam. No one would go through your phone like that. That'd be, weird. <laughs> That'd be so rude. Hey, Sam. I'm glad you were able to gather your courage and leave to rebuild your life. Even if I'll be very far from now on, you can still count on me when things go wrong. Don't worry about your phone. Most likely someone will find it, erase all the data, and keep the phone for themselves. After all, it's still an almost brand new phone. And if some, if it's someone with good intentions, they'll want to look around a bit to return it to its owner. But when they look around, I'm sure they'll understand the reasons you left and will decide to erase all your data to erase every trace of your escape. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, this game. This is this game. Oh, it's... <sighs> I want to, I know uh, clearly, clearly her parents are homophobic. Yeah. But I want to know their reaction. I want to know if, <sighs> I mean, because I feel like, I think their reaction is unfortunately going to be, like, maybe it won't be, it maybe be, one can, would react better than the yeah, other. It can be different when someone you love that much is going through something mm -hmm. like that. I hope that she finds a way to get in contact with her um, cousin, Eric. Me too. Eric and Tia, for that matter. Because Tia, even Tia he, seemed like a little shit. Like, but, but he seemed like an accepting little shit. Yeah, like he seemed, because <laughs> it was his brother. Like, yeah. yeah. That was, yeah. So, you want to do it? I guess so. Don't worry, that warning. This action cannot be undone. Wow, that's a great that's, game. Thanks for playing A Normal Lost Phone, a game by Accidental Queens. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, wow. this has been A Normal Lost Phone. Oh, Victoria is a sound designer. Oh, my God, that's where so that cool. name came and from. She also did some of the music. This is kind of like dope. Nice. CFO Alexandra. Nikki. <laughs> Just saying names. Raphael. Translators. Nicoletta. Uh, Francois. Oliver. Francis. Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Kevin. Miraculous Lady Lamar? Oh my god, Miraculous, is that you? Thanks to all these people, share, people who share their experiences, and all the different supporters and wow. stuff. Wow. Ule Ule backers. This is really Crowdfunding. Nice. Yeah. This is dope. Yeah, this this dope. is a very good, like, Pride Month game. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Educational. Mm -hmm. nice pretty just yeah. in general and very creative yeah if you guys ever want to like like i highly recommend downloading this game i don't think it was that expensive um and also there is a sequel to it that i am not familiar with at all Ooh. i don't know what it is but it's a normal lost phone laura's story or another normal normal lost phone colon laura story laura so i don't know laura? what it's related to ah! But if it's also trans huh. stuff, or if it's just some kind of LGBT something, or not that at all. Or, yeah. But, yeah. That's interesting. This but is... Yeah. This was a really cute game. The art was super cute. The music was super cute. The phone was really cute. And the story was fucking wild. And it makes you think wild. about how much your phone can say about you. Mm-hmm. I, I loved it, and I like the, how simple it was. I would love to see this kind of format with, like a phone like we have that's like, like yeah 
we, and considering how much random junk we have on our phone, like, like I think she that's had some like, of like she had a very clean phone, yeah. but that was also Imagine probably just to had streamline a really, the story. Really cluttered up phone. Yeah, that'd be kind of that'd be interesting in the way that you could have like side games, um, mm. and like DLC that you get when you update it <laughs> yeah. and it gets stuff from the cloud. <laughs> like that, that'd be fucking cool. I I've seen a couple of games like this. Where yeah, it's like that. Simulacra game. is a similar game, but it's a horror game. But it mm. also is using a phone. We need to play that sometime. Most there's also like ambient sound that just freaks you the fuck out, <laughs> and it uses a real person. Like it's not drawn images. Oh. It's fucking wild. Oh, freaky. It's freaky. Yeah. Oh, and dude, like yeah, dude. When <laughs> yeah. When we were looking at the diary, and we get to the end, and the email popped yeah. up. Yeah. That gave us that a start. literally <laughs> gave me chills. Like I, I was like, also <gasps> just in general, it's like a really like I like that it was a happy ending. Yeah, that it's seriously. not a I sad was trans so story. I was scared that we had the phone because, like, they dropped it off a building and they were about to commit suicide. I was so scared yeah. that it was, that was my first guess at like the beginning. Was that, that they that died? Was, yeah, they yeah. died. Because oh that's a lot. Like, that's how trans stories end a lot of the time yeah, that you seriously. hear is not the happy endings where someone starts their life anew and is happy as themselves. It's mm-hmm. where they commit suicide because they have a family that doesn't accept them, and they and like. There were parts where literally Sam was like, I want to die. I don't deserve to be alive. Like, that's a real, like, people who are not LGBT at all, like, can only to, like, I'm not saying that they don't understand that because people experience, like, suicidal depression just in general, like, whatever. That happens for people. But there is an extra level when you you feel like you're an alien in your own mm -hmm. home. When you feel like people in your life don't accept, like... I can speak personally like I've I'm fine I'm here but and I have also dealt with that separately Mm -hmm. from LGBT issues but it's an extra added thing that you don't always necessarily like it's not a thing that people need you don't need to feel that extra level of depression and like being like people do not accept me people do not love me I don't deserve to be here Mm -hmm. and like if at any point any of you guys ever feel like that like please don't yeah. talk to somebody because they're like Sam found Alice and had that person that was like no yeah. you're normal it's okay like people feel like this and you are 100% in your right and you are still loved you have no idea true. how many happy chapters could be ahead of you yeah like and also this is just a really like not to really tie it into before but yeah. it kind of ties back to camp a little bit mm-hmm. because Basically, this, when I was a counselor, not to get too in-depth and in detail, because that's not my place, confidentiality, but I had a lot of 13-year-old girls, and a lot of them, like, literally all of them, had somewhere on their sheet that they had anxiety and depression, to some extent. And then when they got there, about six of the nine of them were somewhere LGBT, whether it was them being bi or pan, or them just being questioning, or them being, like, non-binary. And... It was interesting because as a person who's experienced that, I could talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. But there's also only a certain balance because we have a lot of rules of like you like there are things that there are only certain things you can talk about at camp. Like people have different value systems. We're not here to change people in a week. Like we're not allowed to do that really. So I kind of had to find a balance there and talking to them about it. But I was not going like. The advice I was first given was to say, hey, like, maybe talk to your parents about this. But I knew I couldn't say that because my kids, like, had told me previously, like, oh, I know how homophobic my parents are. They told me if I came out that, like, to anybody at camp, I wouldn't be allowed to come back. Oh, or gosh. things like, oh, I have a friend who is trans and, like, used it to, uses different pronouns. And my parents have told me flat out to not hang out with them anymore. Or, like, oh, I go by this other name. But I don't like, like, I would like for people to call me this name instead of my birth name. But when I say that at school, they call me it to bully me. And mm-hmm. so it gives me this bad connotation with this. Like, yeah. things like that. We're just, it's not a place, like, it's not always the best for people to come out. Because that same person who goes by a different name, um, mm-hmm. they, like, after being able to be open and honest about themselves during the week, spoke to like one of our other like staff member people and was talking about how they really kind of wanted to come out to their parents. And that was kind of a thing where 
I had to have a little moment of being like, well, sometimes it's not safe. And that sucks because you, when you get to be open and honest, like Sam did, you want yeah. to tell people because it goes well that one time. Mm-hmm. And you want to be able to be open and honest because you get that little taste of it. And it feels so good to be your true and self. And you love your parents. You know your parents love you. So it's scary. Mm-hmm. And you want to share that part of yourself with them. But but at the same time, it's not always safe. Yeah. And like, especially during Pride Month, just to say, like, broadly, that there's a lot of people coming out recently and currently because it's Pride Month. A lot of famous people, like mm-hmm. Eugene from BuzzFeed just came out. We were just and, talking about yeah, Dan. And Dan Howell just came out. And that's super amazing and awesome for both of them. And I'm really happy for them. But like, sometimes... Like, those people are both, like, in their late 20s. Like, they have lived their full lives. They are adults. And same for us. Like, we both know our parents. Yeah. And know who in our family we can and can't come out to. True. Like, I have parts of my family that don't know or that kind of know and just ignore it. But I also have, like, a really accepting mom. Mm -hmm. I have a really accepting, like, aunt and stuff. Like, that extended part of my family. So... They know I'm open about myself. I'm a vo- open about myself on the internet. But I, at the same time, know that some people it's not safe to talk to. And that kind of sucks. But it's just true that you need to think first about, like, what's safest for what you. the consequences will be. So even if it's, like, you're, like, 15 years old and you've come to terms with yourself and you told all your friends at school and they all accept you, like, that's amazing. But sometimes it's best even if it feels like you're hiding this part of yourself that you can sometimes be open about and sometimes not and feeling like keeping secrets feels gross everybody knows that yeah but sometimes it's safest to wait a little bit longer wait till you're out on your own and then approach that subject again so at at the very least even if there's emotional trauma you won't be facing getting kicked yeah like being homeless and stuff is just like i can't imagine what eric went through yeah like i would love to see that side like there's no way to do that side of the story because it wasn't the same kind of losing the phone thing yeah but like that's scary and that's dangerous and that's why there are so many like trans or lgbt in general especially dangerous yeah there's a lot of them just on the streets or like going into prostitution and stuff like that just because Like, they see no other options. Yeah. And that's where a lot of, not all of them by far, there's lots of others, but that is where a lot of like trans or LGBT hate crimes can come from because Mm -hmm. it's someone who is homeless on the street and people see an opportunity and gross people exist in this world and they do that. And it sucks and it's awful. But like, yeah, Ooh, we might not to get really because we just I think we just we talked sh- for like we spoke for like minutes 10 minutes. It's about fine. This. <laughs> Basically, just be safe and take care of yourselves. Yeah. That's what's most important. But also happy Pride Month. Yeah. And for those of you who are out and proud of yourselves, whether you, you should are, be. Yes. I am so happy for you wherever you are in your journey, whether you're an amazing straight ally, you're amazing lgb plus person or you're anywhere on the Even trans if you're spectrum a homophobe, you know good for you you know like be you Own it. sis <laughs> like thanks for watching these videos yeah. and thanks for whatever great comments you're gonna leave i love you <laughs> oh my god uh, um <laughs> but yeah just take care of yourselves yeah we love you no matter who you are if you ever feel the need to talk to somebody about anything like this you can reach out to us. Yeah. We have an Instagram. We have a Twitter. We have an email. My roommate has already sent us three. No, two. Probably soon to be three because we mentioned her in a different video from this session. Hi, Katie. <laughs> but she sent us a bunch of emails. So you guys can too. Yeah. We love to talk Seriously. about this stuff. And just know that you're loved because we love you. Yeah. Every single name that we see subscribes will scream and we'll text each other. And we don't care <laughs> who you are on yeah. the outside because we, we know you're a good person. We don't care if your name is outside. completely Russian and we're like, oh, we're like, bots? Are, like, but we love our bots. <laughs> like, yes. yes oh, can I, can I just mention that there's yeah. a name right there that says Sky Willy? <laughs> William Sky, Sky Willy Burton. Oh, yeah. Or Vince. And on that note, or Yulagyoki, <laughs> Yolanda Kamcho, Yetcha, Spoof, Spoof, 
I love you, spoof. spoof. Okay, and on that note, yep, this has been Upper Crust Gaming. I'm Cole. I'm Fish. And we will see you guys in the next one. Yeah. Love you. Love y'all. Bye.